in this socialist theor theoretical country where I where I go from 10 to 15 and I give Dan 15 if, hypothetically for any worker joining that I as a business owner I would be less likely to be hiring people certainly and that's not good is it <laughs> no I don't agree with that I don't think that's a necessarily a bad thing at all because because <laughs> no <laughs> because he hasn't run a business there's yeah. no jobs nobody wants to hire anyone no that's a good thing we don't need as many jobs <laughs> okay in Japan, they have this like very unique culture where getting into a place of business is very difficult. But once you actually have made it into the corporation, they don't fire you. They can't fire you. They never fire you. What they do is uh, they, they ostracize you and, and make you into a social pariah within the company. Oh my God. And, and try better. to get you to quit. And why would you want to live in a society where it's like, oh, we can't fire you. So we're going to like psychologically torture you till you quit. Yeah. There's also the structure of decision making, the, the structure of autonomy. When we are setting up the time for when we are going to shoot the podcast, like everyone has to be on board with it. It has to work around every single person's schedule. These are all God, that uh, scheduling conflicts exist usually, but it's like um, in, in good faith, every single person is like giving their most, uh, giving their all. And it ultimately, uh, I think, creates a pretty pretty solid product. Let me ask you. Oh my God, are we allowed to pass it at this point? Like, yeah. Like, yeah, holy shit. I know it hurts. Imagine, okay, so this, this kind of relates to something I want to say later. Uh, and I'm probably just going to say it now because I don't have the extra hour to, to talk it's about, to, to wait for yeah. it. Because, uh, so what he wants is like, not only is, is there a profit share, but there's also share in the workplace culture of when things should happen. So imagine how that could be corrupted and abused if you don't have like the again, a super, super type A motivated staff. So it's like, oh, well, you know, j doing my janitor job between the hours of, of 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. doesn't really work for me. I want to do it at like, I don't know, two in the morning or something like that so I can play <laughs> Xbox before, before I go, go to work. Right. Imagine all the scheduling conflicts you would have to try to schedule 50 employees who, who clean rooms and try to get those room clean, rooms clean in a timely manner so that you're... Uh, your people who you're you're sourcing to actually want to pay for your business. Yeah, no. And and so he, later he's also talking about what well, again this is the, the correct problem has been identified, but the solution is stupid, um, which is that okay Dupont got caught polluting in uh, local reservoirs to to get rid of all their I don't know pesticides or some shit whatever they they polluted or whatever, and so what his solution is to have like a hedge against that to be the employees choose how DuPont uh, gets rid of their waste. But the problem is one, we have things like unions and unions are paid off pretty easily a lot of times, but two, what's the, the average uh, employee going to know about waste management if they don't even experience it? So how would they even yeah. know what the right solution is? Dump it in the river. <laughs> yeah. They're gonna be like, Oh, there's a river over there. That's cool. Just throw it over there or something like that. Right. Yeah. I don't live over there. So how are, how are they going to even know what the right interventions are? No. Well, they have this fantasy notion that like, oh, well, if the workers are, are voting, then the companies are going to do less bad shit. It's like, why would you think that? They have a greater incentive to do bad shit. Now yeah, they're going to make we'll, more money. We'll pay you more money. And there, there yes. are a lot of people who have no problem uh, throwing a little poison in, into to the local river to make more money. Yeah. Most... You think if the cigarette companies were co-ops, they wouldn't have been trying to pay off <laughs> doctors or something? Yeah. So like, like, wait, I, course, wait but... I, get, I get a percentage of this? Fuck yeah. Smoke all day. Yes. It's like, it's just so, it, the incentive is literally backwards. It's retarded. You could so easily find people who would be willing to make three times the money if you just said pollute over here. Of course. Totally. And then also Most just people... like Hassan comparing, and I don't know if Hassan's, I don't know what his like CV is. I don't know if he's ever worked like a non-media job. Because the idea yeah. that he's comparing this to like, okay, so he's a podcast with four people. And I guess the fifth person is like the person who films it or whatever, or the manager or something. Um, the producer. He's got like these five people on this podcast, four of whom I'm assuming are like already streamers. One of them's Tana Mongo. And it's like, okay, yeah, wow, you really the, your big uh, comparison here for socialism is that you have four people on a podcast, so you have to all figure out your schedules because you all have to physically be there to film something. Wow, that's you're going to compare that to like working at a restaurant or a giant corporation or something where you're saying every individual employee is supposed to be able to vote on every decision the company makes. That's insane. That's going to that's going to totally heavily insane. slow down the process. Yeah, this is the most inefficient you can't thing make any, ever. You can't make any decisions. You, you'd fail. Right. People, and the, again, the, the, each each of those five people, maybe except for the camera guy, so let's say the four people, they're all executives. They're all people who are, are successful. Yes. So they all, they all, it's reasonable to say, hey, let's work this out versus like, 
Um, are you going to let the guy who gets you coffee make a decision on what the scheduling should be? Yes. <laughs> he's most important. I mean, he's low on the totem pole. Somebody but else, I think Eli are... gave, him, gave him coffee. Are they drinking beer, by the way? Or is that canned coffee? I, I don't know. It's probably their the coffee brand. Most towns. people are totally averse to personal risk, too. So, like, expanding the business, anything that you might do that, that oh, could yeah. seem risky, they're going to be they're gonna right. shoot that down immediately. Like, should we hire 10 more employees and expand? I mean, we may lose money. No, don't no, do well, that. No, that's going to cut into my profit. You would have other employees <laughs> saying no to hiring more employees because they don't want to get of rid of their course. profit. Of course, of oh, course, you, yeah. you mean every time you hire another generator, I lose half a percent? Fuck that. Yeah, totally. Yeah, why would you ever do that? This business will not function. Yeah. I would love to see it in practice, though. Oh, I'd it's, love to see a, a show about it. Yeah, like a, <laughs> it would be amazing. Maybe some Reality of this is, is like a yeah, partially unique experience. I, I used to, um, very long time ago, I used to teach yoga. And mm. when you teach yoga, you basically work a million different places. And so I've seen how a million different yoga studios run. And I remember seeing one that just had this like, okay, these cl people clearly do not know business. Cause I was like, uh, they, they showed you their pay structure on like a piece of paper. It was like, oh, if you have, um, by the way, this is, if you had one day of teaching experience, you would get paid this much by the, usually if you have one day of teaching experience, you're, you're lucky if you get to teach for free. Uh, right. so if you have a degree, you get paid $20 more an hour. Um, if you have, uh, this specific certification, you get. Uh, ten dollars more an hour. If you've got a, a personal training certification, you get ten. This is like you're going to start paying. Like uh, by the way, you have no students in the class. Nobody's paying anything. You've you've got a, a two person class or maybe a zero person class. A lot of new students get zero people in a lot of their classes, and you're paying them sixty dollars for a one hour class. Wow! And uh, obviously, that business failed almost instantly. <laughs> which which yoga studio is run by the right wingers? What, what kind of right wingers start a yoga studio? That's what I'm curious um, about. <laughs> Fuck it. That, that, that's, that's a really <laughs> difficult question. I don't think there's an like answer to that. Like I think the best it's all left get is, wingers, right? All the I think different the best you're going to get is liberal. The best yeah. you're going to get is not woke. It's a very, It's like very... liberal to socialist. Yeah. <laughs> that's I mean, we shouldn't be doing yoga anyway because that's anti Christian, you know. Uh, yeah, apparently. Well, I'll get oh, started they're, now. They're drinking uh, coffee, by the way. It's not beer. Oh, okay. Ew. Canned coffee is disgusting. Yeah. You acknowledge that. In this socialist uh, theor theoretical country, where I where I go from ten to fifteen and I give Dan fifteen, hypothetically for any worker joining, that I as a business owner I would be less likely to be hiring people. Certainly, and that's not good, is it? <laughs> no, I don't agree with that. I don't think that's a necessarily a bad thing at all. Because because <laughs> no, <laughs> because he doesn't run a business. There's yeah. no jobs. Nobody wants to hire anyone. No, that's a good thing. We don't need as many jobs. <laughs> okay. Like, I, I don't know, because, like, I've gone through a lot of people that did not work out. Mm-hmm. And they were, they, they were hired on, like, uh, let's say... Uh, you can still fire them. Exploratory... So, so is it at will employment in this situation? In this no. structure, you can them? you can still, of course, like you can still uh, have issues with uh, with an employee and fire them. There's it's ironic because like Japan, for example, is like the most capitalist country. Oh, this on is the a bad planet. example. And yet, uh, in Japan, they have this like very unique culture where getting into a place of business is very difficult. But once you actually have made it into the corporation. They don't fire you. They can't sure. fire you. They sure. never fire you. What they do is uh, they they ostracize you and and make you into a social pariah within the <laughs> oh company. Oh my god! And, and try better. to get you to quit. Is it yeah. Holy shit! This this is uh. <laughs> this is his example. Hassan literally knows uh very very little about Japan. <laughs> okay, so there's a whole whole work culture around Japan that is uh causes lots of uh I don't know how how you want to say this YouTube friendly lots of uh, ending of your own life. Uh, yeah, I was going to say they overwork. It's ma overworking is a massive problem in Japan where they pe people literally have no free time where it's like you go to work and you can't leave until your boss leaves or it's it's dishonorable. Um, they force you to interact oh, with your coworkers crazy. with like, um, oh, well, we're all going to have beer tonight. You have to go. I was like, I don't want to fucking go. Are you you want to drink around other employees and, and get my ass fired? Why? Why would I do that? Or create drama in the workplace? Mm -hmm. Sounds great. Um, and maybe it works out in some companies, but you're literally forced to go to these meetings. Uh, we're forced by cultural enforcement, or again, they'll ostracize you until you quit. Uh, cause who would want to work in a place who, where everybody hates them? 
uh, also in Japan, because it's so hard to get hired, uh, your job a lot of times is your life. And so people um, will unalive themselves if they get fired or if they lose their job or if they quit. Mm -hmm. So this is a horrendous example. Uh, Japan is definitely not the, the ideal workplace place right. to be. They also get, I mean, I don't know why he's using this in the first place because one, they, they work crazy amount of hours, which is uh, not what people who like socialism want and they don't get any vacation. Yeah. Well, they're also not socialists, as you said. So why is this the example? Yeah. I mean, and why would you want to live in a, a society where it's like, oh, we can't fire you. So we're going to like psychologically torture you till you quit. Yeah. Why would <laughs> like, you also want to be the person who has to deal with an employee who sucks too? Like, yeah, this is, th this is a, a massive thing because I wanted to live in Japan a, a, a while ago, um, oh, like okay. 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. Um, because I, I, I've been studying the language for a while and I started looking at their, their policies and I was like, fuck that. No, no, America's <laughs> nice. way better. <laughs> Based weeb, look at you. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think, uh, yeah, maybe, maybe that's why a lot of the weebs are socialists and don't, don't, don't understand how ridiculously hard you have to work in Japan. Yep. Like create, like to the point where you're starting to get um, diminishing returns heavily. Mm -hmm. And I mean, like there are, there are preschool teachers working 80 hours a week. What so, are they even I'm sorry, preschool, uh, kindergarten teachers, like, like elementary school teachers working 80 hours a week. What are they even doing for that long? Um, probably lots of menial tasks or doing things like uh having dumb board meetings that don't actually solve anything mm. people probably just you know kick paper footballs at each other and, and drink or something like that <laughs> hey this, this sounds Dang, like my yeah. kind of job so hassan's solution is to just in introduce psychological torture into the workplace okay this is a good solution here that's what that's very marxist of him to do that <laughs> exactly <laughs> Is it this because is if you're watching this as like an uninformed person you're like oh yeah that sounds pretty reasonable and you can if you looked at his chat they were like l ethan ethan so dumb ethan learn <laughs> listen yeah. ethan i was like no are you fucking kidding me yeah but they like the psychological psychologically torture people yeah they had a job i mean probably probably pretty young it seems to be like they appeal to a young audience right you can tell Thanks by the super chats <laughs> <laughs> if, if it's it's all two dollar super chats then maybe Listen, don't disparage it. <laughs> Some kind of severance or is it just? No, it's like, it's both cultural. And I, I, if I'm not mistaken, it could literally That's have so legal implications as well, it is legal, but, it, yeah. but it works, right? Okay. It technically well, works. It works. But it works. It works. I mean, does it work? I don't know. Obviously not. It works as I said, it works. <laughs> bullying in the workplace now. Hassan is in favor of, of bullying. How far but do also, we go? Well, I Hassan mean, is clearly in favor of bullying because we'll do it to anybody yeah. who doesn't agree with them. Oh, that's true. I, I mean, because he he made his initial reaction to a video I did about um, there was this campaign between the the or not between, but but they both covered the same topic, the Vice and the BBC about how things are unfair in competitive gaming because there's only like well actually there's no women who are success who are as successful as men in competitive gaming with a a shared uh, what do you call that. Um, must be sexism. Yeah, yeah. So the, basically, that was with the shared space where they're both competing male uh, co-ed. So that's what I was thinking of. Mm -hmm. um, so I was like, this is dumb. This is affirmative action. This is actually sexism to give a... Because what they were suggesting is that they give a woman a spot in a competition that she didn't earn. So it's like, great. Well, then what happens is, is that the person who is... Um, you only tap 16 slots. The person who's number 16 now gets kicked out for an affirmative action player. Um, how pissed would you be? Because a lot of times oh, you yeah. can go from... You, you play 16th. And maybe you place a lot higher because uh, the next game is better. Like, I'd be super pissed about that. Hell yeah. So um, he made a reaction to that. Where, uh, part of it was like harassment and gaming. It's like, put the mute button on. Stop being such a pussy. Uh, like, how hard <laughs> is it? Like, you, you're, your worst problem in the world is that you can't handle a mean comment. Right. Um, very first world of you. Uh, most yep. people worried about being killed. <laughs> so <laughs> it, it, uh, it, throughout history. Yeah. So, um, I basically said that. And by the way, I didn't like make fun of it and be like, oh, this person has blah, blah, blah. Or like the only thing I'll do is I'll, I'll criticize someone's appearance if there are factors that they can change, like being morbidly obese or if they get a bad piercing or something like that. <laughs> but then. Um, what about so a face tattoo? I mean, yeah, that's that's weird. I mean, depends. <laughs> like, well, some look pretty bad. <laughs> so. So. Um, Hassan comes in like as the the social justice warrior. I'm going to defend people and and uh, stop the bullies from interacting. And meanwhile, he he says racial slurs against me, calls me pasty, uh, wow. says I'm uh, 
a moron says I'm like, God, he says I don't, he, in this other video, he said I don't shower. I think I had like a compilation of all the insults he, he said against me, but it's like, <laughs> right. how this is bullying. Like what the fuck? And you're, you're bullying me for cha things I cannot change. <laughs> you could take a shower though. Let's be honest. <laughs> well, no, I'm, I'm talking about he's bullying me over skin color. <laughs> Which, right. is, which is which is because he called me a pig like oh he doesn't go outside. I was like Hassan spends twelve hours a day streaming like he doesn't totally. go outside either. Mm -hmm. You so, can hit the tanning salon, but I wouldn't advise it. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't do that. Yeah. Like that's how you get old. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm gonna age you. So um, are there are there any super chats uh, for me? Uh, yeah, I, I was going to head out in a few minutes. Sure, let me look. Hi, you just listened to a clip from the Sitch and Adam show. If you like what you heard, you can listen to our live show right here on this channel on Sunday, starting at 1 p.m. Pacific, 4 p.m. Eastern. And if you want, you can super chat us. We read $20 and up super chats on the show and then do a follow-up stream on the following Tuesday where we read the rest of the unread super chats and interact with fans of the show. Subscribe to this channel right here to listen to the live show or to listen to more of our awesome clips.